So who's been here before? I forget. Who hasn't? I haven't. Okay. I've been here to here, but I haven't climbed. The story of the tower. Listen, everybody, listen up. The tower pushed up towards the surface and stopped. Okay? And then the Belfouche River eroded away the soil that was burying the tower and left it standing up like we see it today. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now look at how many fall down columns we got here. We're looking at the west face and this is what you're going to be looking at from the back porch or your rooms. Okay? The west face gets hammered by the weather. In the summer the weather comes from south by southwest and in the winter it comes north by northwest. So this west face gets hammered by the weather all year long and that's what rips all these columns off the tower. Okay, I would be so terrified. As we walk around on the south face, which is sheltered, you'll see that most of these columns that are sloughed off on this side are still in place. And there's not near so many fall down columns on the south and east side. <coughs> yeah. So here we've peeled down the outer columns and we're getting in towards the center and the columns are so tightly stuck to each other that if you want to climb on this side, cracks barely let your fingers get in. They're really, really tight. Okay. So if there's a hard side of the tower to climb, it's this west face. And that's the one you'll be looking at out your windows or off the back porch from the house. Okay? How tall is the tower? Well, it's about 5,000 feet above sea level, but where the heck sea level in Wyoming? Right. Okay. The climbing part, and you can actually walk up to the height of the tallest trees. The climbing part is around 600 feet. Can we relate to 600 feet? Yeah. Well, there aren't any 60-story buildings in South Dakota. And I know there aren't any in Wyoming. But that's pretty tall. And usually it takes, if you climb to the top, about eight hours round trip. Holy crap. I don't know if you met the doctor fella who's staying with us, but we took out from the parking lot at 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. And we got back down to the house right around 10, 10 o'clock last night. Mm. We were up on top to watch the sunset and the moon come up and the stars come out. And then we cut on the headlamps we had on our helmets and rappelled down in the dark, which was really cool. Bet, that's and when we got that. home, the nice ladies had dinner waiting for us. Aww. That's maybe the best part. Right. Yeah, yeah, but didn't you say someone was calling on you because of the headlines? Some, some nice people that were going from Michigan to L.A. They didn't live here. They saw lights on the tower and they tried to call the park service to let them know someone was in trouble. Well, we weren't in trouble. Mm -hmm. And they got the wrong number and they ended up calling our house and talked to Ashling, our hostess. And she said, lights on the tower? Yeah, that's probably Frank and the doctor. They're okay. And by the way, where are you staying tonight? So they stayed with us last night. He was the big guy that was in the kitchen. His name's Hugo, and he's from Yugoslavia. Actually, his name is Hugo. Hugo his from Yugoslavia. Is, his name is Yugoslavia. Oh, that's just bad. Yugoslavia. Oh. Before the country broke up. That's why his parents named him that. Oh. Okay, so the sunlight isn't directly 